Iksha available. It's such a wide pool. Clint, Clint. Okay, they go for the back. It's the more burst. stable guy, closer to your front line, right? It's closer yeah. to your front line, so they can respond faster if someone goes through. So it's not that bad, but the range is a little, little less. The lineup of Aurora can reach the back line of Fnatic Onyx Philippines easier. This puts a lot of pressure onto Kirk and to Brusco to make sure that they get the Eve, they get the Clint. They cannot pour everything onto the front line of Aurora. There it is. You, you called it right there. For me, if, 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 Fnat if Aurora doesn't reach their mid-game power spike, it, it's going to be hard. Yeah. Especially if Fnatic Onyx snowballs with King Kong, Suyu, and Kelra yeah. as well. But still, for me, 50-50 like what you mentioned a while ago. All right, everybody, throw out and get your coins ready. Here we go for game number seven of the Grand Finals. It's been years since we've gone this far. It's been months since anyone has ever made Welcome to Mobile Legends. Aurora have made mortals of gods. Unless they're both gods, one game away from winning the championship. Welcome to Game Seven. Let's it's go. Fnatic Onyx Philippines versus Aurora MLBB. Oh man, I I had just realized that I have not been part of a seven-game series just yet since I started casting back in Season Eight, and I'm so happy that we finally have it here with two amazing teams that are have been defying odds all season. Welcome to your first, Joseph, and this could also be the first for many here in this bout. Many athletes putting everything on the line. Brusco flickers away. Again, look at that. Just how locked in both the teams are that even if you have to defensively flicker, Kirk was right there. The other thing that I'm excited to see and point out is as we get a glimpse right now of the gold lane is it's a classic matchup, right? This isn't the magic gold lane matchup we see a it's lot of times. both Mark's people. It's both Mark's people. I love it. It's what they need to do. And between them, they're both capable of playing these two marksmen, right? You've seen a Clint in Kelra yep. and a Beatrix in Doming. Now Kirk gets pushed in deep. King Kong reciprocating the action, taking that small camp away. And Renegade just chasing. Renegade just clearing out. Brusco living in Demon Kite's face. I wonder how this feels too for uh, Renege, you know, just, he got his hands finally on the Tigreal here, but Brusco is playing his signature hero on the other side. And you know that with that Tigreal, you have a couple options. Either you respond to when Brusco sets things up, or you can also be the guy uh, on Tigreal and be a little aggressive. There's the flicker, good dodge there, coming out from Demon Kite. First turtle for the taking here. They're gonna start it up. AOG! Getting in position. There's a jump, not connecting, but Demon Kite will get the turtle. King Kong goes down first. And now looking for more. They're on the hunt. Brusco should be able to get away, but Aurora comes out with a win in that one. Two minutes in, first turtle down. Brusco protecting King Kong's orange buff. It's very rare that you see King Kong cornered like this. It's been a while since we've seen King Kong get deprived of his resources this early on. And Demon Kite commits Grand Theft Orange. A thousand gold ahead now is Aurora. Joseph, I hate to say it, but is Fnatic Onyx running out of tank in the gas right now? I think they. I think it's more so this, Leo. They haven't been tested like this. Like you said in your intro and in the game, when was the last time Fnatic Onyx went through this kind of testament through a series especially this long? That's where it really comes down to even the mental endurance of the players here. Then this might be their true test. Look at King Kong slow rolling his theft of the orange. Taking a small camp along the way. Edward catches him. Catch Still him. a little baby there. RWM. Gonna be able to get out. Knock up through Kirk. Oh no, he's in trouble! King Kong gets punished again! And Demon Kite says, get out of my jungle! They've cornered the beast and slain him twice now. Edward canceling the AOG, getting inside Fnatic Onyx head. And now Demon Guy's gonna clean up house. They're about 2,000 gold up now, and the second turtle hasn't even spawned. This is pretty crazy because for a player that is so integral and part of the success of FNOP. That's the regular season MVP. That's the regular season MVP. He is now falling behind in terms of trying to keep up with the pacing being set. And Demon Kite has adjusted throughout the series 
got his hands on this alpha and is just proving to be a nuisance. Sometimes he doesn't even get caught because he defensively uses the Spear of Alpha. And then re-engages. Turtles up and just as quickly taken down. Aurora, 100% turtle take rate, four minutes in. Oh, this is trouble right here for Fnatic Onyx. They're going to have to go ahead and just kind of buckle up at this point. We know the statistic, two turtles back to back for a team, what they can do for the early game into the mid game here. So they might try to, you know, scrap up what they can. You can see the placements here for King Kong, where he's going. Even though we got punished last time, he doesn't care. He's still going to be in the jungle of DK. And that's what led him to be such a successful jungler in the regular season. Continue playing the map. Continue finding resources until you can get there. And in this series alone, in this seven game series, we've seen him do this with a Nolan. Yep. Now, with a Suyo, that's a whole nother story. Looking at the item game, about a thousand and a half between Kelra and Domeng. Dear God. Whoa, whoa. Domeng is on a gold mine. Where did he get all that money? Where is it from? Because everywhere else, everywhere else it's equal down the middle. Aurora successfully funneled everything to Doming. That had to, was that just, that was nearly just the, I guess the farming and all that turret gold. The shielding? And I guess he was double laning? That's a, that's a, I don't know man, that's a smart cowboy right there. That's a rich cowboy. That's a rich cowboy right now because they're going to have to deal with that. He's also now on the top side, so they're just going to leave him alone, let him do his thing. Don't make farming up. Fnatic will push that bottom turret themselves. They can't get it fully just yet because they can't overextend, and that's another turret now in the hands here for Aurora. Clean for Aurora. So far, top lane tier one taken down. Bottom lane tier one taken down. The <laughs> map is shrinking he got for it. Kelra. And King Kong just struggling to keep anything and everything in his own jungle. Luckily, his retribution is still on point, but that means all turtles, they're conceding over to Aurora. Yeah, this is going to be the three for three. I'd be surprised to see F not try to fight this, but they don't even get a chance. It's nope. so quick to go down here. This is looking really good for Aurora right now. Nice, comfortable lead at 2.6, almost 3K up. Under the seven minute mark, all three objectives in your favor, and they can play around the map now as they set their eyes on the tier two here in the top. You mentioned earlier how Renegade's Tigreel can actually play both offensively and defensively. I don't see him playing defensively or reactively at all. If anything, his mere presence is sh sending shivers down Brusco's spine. Brusco can't even cross the river right now. That's not what you want to see in a show. It's not what you want to see, man. And maybe, you know, this is now up to King Kong to just play the map. He's going to have to do the best he can, but I, I'm even worried for him because if he does, if he's pushing somewhere else, there's so many tools to go ahead and try to catch him. And that's exactly what they're looking to do now. Renegade is still going to be used. King Kong will spawn him out with the Queller. But now, again, Tier 2s are being pressured. We saw Fnatic Onik do this even the previous game, this early on, mid lane, oh. toss up from Kirk. From a wrath gonna be used, Demon Kite won't land the Spear of Alpha. They still wanna fight, Eternal Guard gonna be dropped down too. You're gonna try to fight, there's the kick coming out from Brusco. And Renege goes in, finds the lockdown, and Demon Kite's taken out Run, by Kelra. Kelra. They're still hunting for Run, more. Domang falls. Kelra trying to buy time, UA and Edward chasing him down, Kelra. Will he be able to get the space he needs? Rora loses two. The gold standard gets away with murder. Fnatic Onyx first win in this eight minute game. Two kills, one on DK, another on Doming. Those are the two perfect targets. Everyone else is just an accessory to Aurora's success right now. That is what Fnatic Onyx needed. How did they set that up? An amazing play. It started with Kirk. Playing footsies, faking it, faking it, primal wrath. All right, they engage, popping the rule of emulation. Next thing you know, Keller was in the back blasting him. Oh, that's what you gotta watch out for. I mean, he even used that flicker, right? So they're not gonna have a couple of these battle spells now for this fight. Not so Aurora will go ahead and start things up. They know they have the advantage with the ultimates that they have. They still have to respect oh, what oh. Fnop can do. That's all of them in there. Lord now on a tenth of its health. They're gonna go for it. There's the jump on in. Renegade gonna be in trouble and Demon Kite gets the Lord. Spear of Alpha gonna be able to lock down King Kong and Brusco. Edward. Edward trying his best, but he falls next. The two for two trade, but Rora gets the Lord. 
Damn straight, Joseph. At the end of the day, Aurora win that trade. A roamer and an XP laner for a Lord, the opposing jungler, and the roamer. The math checks out. Aurora maintaining composure, recovering from that two free kills that Fnatic Onyx scored about a minute ago. Looking at the items. Luckily, Kelra has been farming up. He didn't die in that exchange. So he's now just down about just under a thousand. Yeah, he's I still got some catching up to do. I think there's a future here. I think if some way, somehow, the Sonics just pour everything on the gold standard, on the Filipino Savage, he can get over his trauma from losing to Edward. Oh. Three years ago. He can get over his trauma losing to Demon Kite two years ago. It's got to come here now, culminating in this moment. They're all going to have to lock in here on the defense. Even if it's this first Lord here, they should be able to work through it. Another turret going down. Fnatic Onik holding on to what they can. Holy Shield still actually up here on the top side as they clear out the minions and keep the shields alive for now. Even in mid, key use of the magic oh, flare. King, King Kong. Kong in no man's land. He's in the pixel brush. Oh, he gets spotted. Oh, <laughs> you Spots him out. Luckily, a, no quick, tricks. a quick tap of the surge will get him out of there. But if it was any other position, yeah. if it was in the big river brush, they could have flickered in and caught him. He's, I guess King Kong is in a, you know, in a way, uh, if he's got to take a little bit of a risk, make some plays and move around the map, he's going to do it. He's going to have to act as a threat magnet. If he's not in the base and he's not where Aurora can see him, that means he's up to shenanigans. So Aurora have to clamp down on that. How much they give to stop that? Depends on Aurora how much they're willing to. Because right now, that's all King Kong can do. He can't yeah. join fights. He can't front. He can deal some level of damage. But he's not as big a threat as Demon Kite. Demon Kite is a wall. Demon Kite is a house compared to King Kong. I would say if they can dodge... Like, one of the biggest things, obviously, is the Avatar of the Guardian from Edward, but... Even the Spear of Alpha, man. The, the Spear of Alpha, if, it's, if it catches multiple members from Fnatic Onic, they're in trouble. And that's why they have to almost utilize, like even the Eternal Guard, if it's dropped down at the right mark to kind of help peel if they need to or initiate, that's, gonna, what, that's what's going to help them win the fights. Oh, wow. Slow push up top. Couple of rogue minions left over by Fnatic Onic. Popping that Holy Shield, too. There is some hope. Sonics all around the world watching. Fans in the Philippines. Fans in Indonesia. Fans all around the globe. Watch closely. This Lord Dance might be the last. Purple getting secured here by King Kong first. Lord here, down to out of 10. Are they going to get there in time? Bruce go jumping in the back. Demon Kite will get the Lord in the exchange. They're trying to run for it. They cover down the fire. Bruce go flickers on out. No one goes down, but Demon Kite finally a doming flickers forward and gets Kalra. The one for one, but the objective here for Aurora. It's the same situation. Deja vu. One might argue a one for one, but Aurora walks away with a big one. The Lord, the enhanced Lord, marching through mid. No holy shields, and they have to defend the hard way. They're going to be able to clear this out. Kelro will be back up in time. What does Rora still want to look for? Or is that all they're going to get? Check Brusco, Brusco. Check Brusco. Might try to make a play. Goes in. Not going to be able to find the connection. Oh, Brusco's in trouble. Yo, hey, again. Turning things around. And now without Brusco, they might lose the base turrets next. It was too risky an angle. Not enough of a distance to come in and catch a good side. And now Aurora. Sending a wave down bottom. Fnatic Onyx defending for their life. They need to hold out. They need to extend this. Four, five more minutes into the next Lord. They keep it together. Base turrets still up. A little bit of a desperation trying to uh, set things up. It didn't work out that time, Leo. Brusco believes that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And he took his shot. Take and he is kicks. not throwing away his shot. He's young, he's scrappy, and just like everyone else in his team, he's hungry for this victory. Grand Theft Purple by Demon Kite. Slowly but surely ballooning this lead up to a thousand. Approaching a thousand and a half, 14 minutes in. 
about a minute until that next Lord spawns lower quarter. Luckily for Fnatic Onyx, that is the long lane for them, wherein it's the softer side of the inhibitor. So, you know what? Maybe Brusco should save those big ticket kicks yeah. for the Lord fight. I, I, I agree, you know, and I think that last attempt, knowing that they could have just gone for it, maybe something happened, but if we saw a preview of the Lord fights like the last one, what do they have to change here? Because it didn't go that well for them. Start it before the Lord begins. I think Fnatic Onic have been relying on the turn a little too much, and Aurora have smarted up to it. Aurora said, enough is enough. You've turned on too many people in the regular season already. They just press the gas. They just press the gas, they lean into it. And Aurora are so good at the turn. They're so good at welcoming Fnatic Onic into their own pit, into their own ring. And that's what this lineup was made to do. The Tigreal, the Eve, the Gatot, the Alpha. Dude, all Dominic needs to do is clean up all these criminals. Yeah. <laughs> all, these, all these rogues. All these rogues. It's about to be high noon. Actually, it's past the high noon at this point. Game seven, past 15 minutes. This Lord going to be crucial for either team. It's a half felt. Brusco and Kirk now a third. Going down the front. Kelra not going to find the Renner shot. Eternal Guard going to be dropped down. They get that out. There's the implosion coming out from Renner. Brusco! Brusco could be in trouble. They're trying to get the zone, but King Kong down in the picture. Again, what? Super Prince gets the Lord. Fnatic on the Philippines trying to withstand the fight. Hey, Edward hey. jumps into the backside. Brusco will kick him in the face. And Edward's still alive until Kirk takes him out. It's a battle in the mid lane. Don't oh. make But Kaura shows them the shot to the face. And they're on the run to the defense. What a turnaround. Starting with the monster mage. The lunatic friends. Total anarchy in the Lord Pit. He took advantage of that. He had eyes on the prize. And the enhanced Lord walk for Fnatic Onyx Philippines. Back to back with Ultra Instincts on Kelra. He had eyes on the perfect target. He knew King Kong was gone. So he protected himself, kept himself scarce. And then started shooting for the high heavens. Edward and Domang will be back up here to try to stay in this game. Lord still has to be worked on. It looks like they're only going to get the base turrets. Talk about the poetry of securing that Lord with the Eternal Guard from Super Prince. The back and forth, the ebb and flow, the beautiful and brutal exchange between these two world-class athlete teams. If you're not watching this right now, you're missing out. This is what you pay attention to if you want to see peak MLBB. And the only thing between them is an inhibitor and 2,000 gold. How? How? How is it that close? Yet still seemingly both teams engage as if their lives depended on it. Leo, I'm not even complaining. I, we are here on the desk and I am entertained. I wouldn't want game seven to be any other way than how this has been for the past 18 minutes. And it brings us back to that. The Lord coming up in a minute. Are they gonna try to make a play? Are they trying to get a numbers advantage? Because now the defensive items come into play with this. Now they start juggling. Demon Kite just picked up his immortality. Demon Kite also has a winner crown. So he can jump in. Spear of Alpha front and then come back, deal extra true damage. Fnatic Onyx have to accept that fact that the box does not belong to them. They have to play outside the box. They have to bait the box. They have to live in the box to be, be able to understand how Aurora do it. And look at the damage dealt by Yue. It's just so sticky. A box, the real world manipulation, but Super Friends. Super Friends is a one of a kind mage. Super Friends comes from the same DNA that few, Sanji, yeah. Yue, Sans, they're all the same breed. They are, man, and they come in clutch when it's needed most. And that is a huge factor for both these ends, both these teams here. Lord has already spawned, upper quarter. This is an evolved Lord. Dare I say, whoever scores this might as well take home the championship. River Control going over to Aurora, first to the scene. 
They do take the Little Wanderer. Rene J still has his flicker, still has his immortality. So there's a lot of engage on Aurora. How does Fnatic Onyx juggle all of those factors? Can really be either team here that decides to start things up. King Kong will make his way to the fight. Oh, oh, Or oh. is he going to try to push and play something else whoa, 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 here? Oh, Lord. Might get soft reset here. Where's King Kong going? There it is, King Kong taking the long way around. Flanking from the east. Domin can't see. Demon Kite either. Don't make pushing them back in. Lord down to a tenth. It's down to the tenth. He might be too late. Lord already secured the jump in from Edward. They might call the fight. King Kong, is he going to go for Doming? Takes off a couple shots. He gets the wind of nature out, but he'll disengage. The timing wasn't right for Efna. Fnatic took a second too long. They had the set up. King Kong couldn't get there safely and fast enough to be able to get the pincer. Aurora scoring the Lord, no casualties either side. Not even a flicker spent by Aurora. There was one on Kirk in trying to jockey for a position. Looking at the items, both marksmen refuse to go barefoot. Both marksmen understand that rotations are the name of the game. It's the map, and what's King Kong doing? What, oh. what is this? Joseph, is he back? Is he going for the back door? He looks like he might be. Oh, He's no. actually just going to handle that wave. He sees it. The he sees it. They see it. He has to go oh, home. He has to go home. He's going to go home. They got to defend here. Lord's going to be worked on. Eternal Guard already dropped down. There's the box once again. The AOG is going to be used. They're clearing out the minions. Edward Let's go. trying to get out of the Spear of Alpha coming out from Demon Kite. Kirk gets the killing spree and Edward goes down too. And the explosion comes through. And they turn it around. Four members of Aurora are down. And Domang will try to go to base. But FNOP, after a decisive team fight victory, will prep up to march in. And Doming, he can't even get back to base in time. It's all on him. It's all on him. From a dominating regular season to a hard fought grand finals, the Sonics will not be dimmed by the lights of Aurora. They stand unbreakable. And new LPL Philippines champions, Fnatic. Onyx Philippines! I said it before and I will say it again, Leo. They are too damn good.